The boss decided to fire the tractor driver. Then he took out a tire iron and presented him with a valuable lesson. Welcome to Viral Stories. Secrets, facts, and strange stories from around the world. If you find yourself amazed at what some of our fellow humans and animals can do, this is the place for you. This is a channel you're going to want to tell your friends about. Be sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon to be notified of our new uploads. Now sit back, relax, and enjoy Viral Stories. Today's story has been talked about on the internet for a very long time, and in one way or another has been retold many times. Some say that it was in fact, while others are inclined to believe that it is probably fiction. But friends, be that as it may, each of us will find something for our minds in it. Well, we will be transported to Siberia, a cold and harsh land, to the mid-80s. On one fine but terribly frosty day, the manager of the logging enterprise, together with the instructor of the district committee, the chief engineer, and the head of the sector, decided to go into the forest with a small examination. As befits in this case, the driver warmed up the car for them beforehand, after which all four men in suits and white shirts got into the warm car and, leaving the driver at the base in order to have more space, went to check the work areas. Leaving the familiar offices 40 kilometers away, just a little before reaching the destination, the car stopped. The head of the sector, who looked out of the window, only stated the fact that the road was further blocked by a skitter, which was dragging logs along with it. Seeing the bosses from afar, the tractor driver began to move the tractor away, diligently punching the snow and making way for the car. While the tractor driver was clearing the way for himself and the car, the bosses, tired of sitting in the warmth, decided to go out for a smoke, watching how the tractor skillfully scatters tons of snow. The director of the Enterprise, who was not so often on such trips, and even more so being with such a respected support group, without hesitation decided to prove himself as a real leader. Barely finishing his cigarette, he called the tractor driver over to him, who by that time was still trying to drive the skidder off the road. Well, how are you? The director asked the tractor driver, to which the hard worker just shrugged his shoulders and replied, okay, and everything would be fine. Perhaps they would have struck up a conversation, but then the instructor of the district committee decided to prove himself. So sniffing the tractor driver in the frosty air, he cried out with surprise and a twinkle in his eyes. Hey, he drank. No way, said the director and sniffing himself answered. Oh, you are right. You know what? You have already worked enough, Nikolaenko. Now go hand over the tractor to the base, and tomorrow you are going to my office with the first timber carrier. I will fire you for intoxication, the leader added. Trembling from the cold, looking at his colleagues, who only nodded their heads approvingly. The tractor driver, frozen in place, listened to all this long tirade and, at first, seemed to want to answer them something, desperately pointing at the tractor without glass and doors. And this is, by the way, at minus 40 degrees, but looking at the stone faces of the bosses, he only desperately waved his hand and headed off to his iron horse. And it would seem that the story could have ended there. But then, as they say, the situation got out of control. The director and the rest of the authorities had not yet managed to reach their car when they saw a tractor coming towards them, and who had returned already with a tire iron in his hands. Not paying attention to the open mouths of the chiefs, he calmly walked past them and banged a tire iron on the windshields of the car. Then on the side windows, and after a few seconds, after examining the car a little, he took out the rear window. But the workaholic did not stop there either. Also silently with a blank face, the tractor driver climbed into the car and hit the car's heater with a tire iron. Naturally, no one from management uttered a word. Everyone just stood there with their mouths open and silently looked at the man with the tire iron, who, having examined the car again with a satisfied face, smiled and went to his tractor. A few seconds later, he jumped on it and disappeared around the corner. Realizing that the village is more than 40 kilometers off-road and there is frost on the street, the inspectors, without thinking twice, jumped into the car without a heater and glass and headed back, never reaching the main site of work. All the way, they drove in silence, and after about 10 minutes, their teeth chattering from the cold. The road took an hour and a half, and upon arrival, none of them could feel their legs, freezing to the very bones. Each of them understood what cold means now, and wondered, how does a tractor driver sit there all day? The next day, the director fired the site mechanic and also talked to the chief mechanic and warned that he would follow the site mechanic if within two days all the tractors on the sites still wouldn't be equipped with windows, doors, and of course, heaters. As it turned out later, Nikolayenko did not drink at all. Several times asked the mechanic to put his tractor in order, but for various reasons, this did not happen, and the only way to warm himself up was that one. And for the tractor driver, the authorities even gave him a reward, agreeing that he would not tell anyone anything. 
Well, this whole story shows us that, first of all, we need to deal with the reasons for the problems and not with the consequences. In order to not make quick conclusions, you must first understand everything. Friends, what do you think? Did such a story take place? Also, write down how you view the act of the tractor driver. Well, most importantly, remember that alcohol is harmful to your health. That's all for today. See you later.